Vlogtober, Vlogtober. Ah, so, I am not Zen, I am ill. We are having a drink. Mmm, to everybody who's got misophonia. I can't, I've just boiled that, I said I can't do a proper slurp. Oh. So, um, yeah, I've got a, the, the whole sneezing episode yesterday is now full-blowing cold. And my husband's got one as well. So, you know, that's life, isn't it? What a fun life we all lead. So, I it is quite late. It's like one o'clock. I have been sitting, listing the rest of my Lego this morning because I just thought I'm just going to drink hot drinks and get myself to a better place. And then the mailman come and he brought me this. Notice to keep her. It's a parking charge. So I have been charged £90 for char for parking at an empty retail park for three hours instead of the designated two hours. And that's because I've just recently started using the car a lot more. It's because then I could like, you know, <laughs> spend more money at the retail park. <laughs> this is, you know, issuing this fine is, is, is like... It's definitely, it, it's, it's an attune to how the Conservative government want the economy to get back on the go, isn't it? We're just going to make money out of fines and actually encourage people to actually go shopping. So I know what happened is that I went to the charity shop and I was probably in there for an hour and a half, probably two hours. So that's my designated amount anyway. That's the time I normally spend when I walk, but I can't get as much stuff because I'm walking. And then I went to TK Maxx. And then I think I had a look round Boots and I looked round the other charity shop that's there and I probably went in Home Bargains and Poundland and um, possibly, I don't know, I went to Sainsbury's as well. So, you know, I dared to actually spend money uh, <laughs> at the retail park and I've got a parking charge for it. So it's literally like because I was there for three hours instead of two. I just don't know what they want. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So I have to pay this £90. This is discounted. It will go up and go, I'll go up. You know, and then I'll end up on that television programme. <sighs> but they can't take the car anyway because it's on higher purchase. <laughs> it's just so frustrating. This isn't... This, I mean, I have been driving for 20 years. Yeah, it's easily 20 years because it was early millennium, I think, when I passed. Maybe No, maybe... I don't know but my husband also drives as well and he's had a he's had at least three parking charges for places where he's where he's paid and this is since the digital thing comes in and they deem that you haven't typed it in properly but you can't check it on a lot of these new things so this is euro car parks so i damn well will not be taking the car again down to this place <sighs> And I'm reluctant now to go to the other one up near Man United because they're probably run by the same company. Um, but the thing is, is that if I go in a charity shop and I want to go round every rack, it takes two hours in a superstore to go round every rack. That's the whole thing. Because I'm quite chatty with the manager at that place, I'm going to tell her because the thing is, is that it's counterproductive for all the businesses that are there. There are so many businesses. There's also a Costa Coffee. I mean, people go into the Costa Coffee or the restaurant and sit down and probably spend a bit of time there. There's also pets at home. There's, um, a, there's a gym. I mean, people must spend more than two hours at the gym. So there's a JD Williams gym there and a shop and a sports direct as well there's so many shops at this place why wouldn't people be there for more than two hours so maybe i should send them a strongly worded complaint but i know that i'll have to pay it anyway because um the last time my husband complained they waived one but that's manchester city council <sighs> so i'm not impressed um i need to like you know, I'm I'm ill, I'm largely annoyed anyway. It's just very frustrating, you know. What's the point? 
so I'm not doing my health any good anyway by not walking <laughs> anyway I haven't done the post yet because I have just been listening and trying to like you know I let myself sleep in I mean I say I let myself sleep in my alarm clock went off and I I mean, I'm not but this ears bunged up this nostrils bunged up and I must have been sleeping <laughs> I didn't hear the first stage of the alarm and I know I've spoken to my husband when he leaves because he leaves about an hour before I intend to get up um, and I know I must have slept through my alarm <laughs> because it, it goes off at seven and it said 12 minutes past seven and I was like oh what's going on and then I was like where's Jason <laughs> I couldn't remember this conversation because we'd had this long conversation about strepsils and <laughs> in Lemsip this morning at like 6am so I don't he's definitely gone Ooh, I hate it having a cold but I, you know it 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 could be worse I'm just breathless so stuff that's going out crap things that are going out is this uh, this is manta ray not going to be picking up manta ray anymore um yeah a little top it's gone for 99p so that is an absolute loss um, I will not be picking up Manta Ray. It's just stupid. Um, people say, oh, you've got to pick up the size, the larger sizes. But I've got a size 18 that hasn't sold. It's just sat there. And that's been on auction for 9 99 start. And it's a size 18. Not sold. Then I've got this. Um, at one point, this was quite a good brand, but it isn't now. Let's move this coffee. Um, Daniel Hector. Yeah, don't pick that up. That's gone for 4 99 so that isn't a loss, but it's been kicking around for ages. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I th my, my brother had some of that brand, which is why I knew about it. Um, and when I ha had to sell, I did sell a lot of his stuff in his clothes and things when he passed on and when he went into a care home. So I... I was sort of familiar with it then and it, the, he had a number of their shirts and they were really popular but he probably got his in the charity shop um right so lego i may well have to put screenshots on of these so um there'll be a sort of like break in the talking so i can show you what they actually are because i've busted this one down um, this one was a real surprise to me so I've had this one before and I know that I've only sold it for about 30 pounds maybe yeah probably around 30 pounds and I was like surprised then that I got 30 this time I was looking at the solds and other people seem to be getting closer to 50 so I put mine on for 50 thinking oh, I'll accept offers and then it immediately sold within an hour of me listing it yesterday so that's this one quite surprised with that I just don't think that there's much to it but there's a lot of printed parts I suppose um where's the other ones I normally put them all together but this one I hadn't put the uh, I hadn't put the thingy in it because I haven't put a piece of paper in it because it you it tells me what's in there so it's got like that's the actual set number name so I suppose it is it's from 1978 it's quite recent recent that's like saying that I'm like born yesterday. <laughs> it's quite vantage. Um, obviously, 43. I'm at a point now where I don't want to acknowledge how old I am. And then I have sold three things to the same person. So he initially bought this one and paid for this straight away. So this he paid £30 for. There's various issues with it it's got a split base plate and it's got none of the stickers on it so I put it on from for 30 and then he sent me like a message and said oh these are from my childhood you know and I was like yeah they're from my childhood as well so and he's like oh will you accept my offers for these other ones so because he'd already bought and paid for that one I did relent and he sent me an offer of 100 for this so I accepted that because 100 is what I was planning to get for this. When I saw this in the job lot, I did plan on getting...
getting 100. So this job lot, I haven't put the video on yet, but I will put, that video will go live tomorrow. So that'll be, because I'm feeling like ill, I really don't feel like <laughs> filming another video <laughs> at the moment. Because I'm just like, oh. Now I've got to go and walk in the rain. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I've got a video of this job lot. So there's, there's, there's a job lot of Lego that I bought and I paid 60 pounds so all of this that you've just seen has come from this so it's 60 pounds inclusive of postage so i will put that video on for tomorrow's um vlogtober showing the sort and the rest of it and of, of what i've pulled out of this so this is a big castle set i'll show you all the screenshots of all of these sets after i've finished talking about them so i've took 100 for that and then this is a bus station set that's in there you can see the bus which I've had that before. It's not like, it's not great. They're all from like 1978. Most of the sets are 1978 to 1980, 81 at the very latest in this job lot. So yeah, I'm now, well, I was immediately in profit just from selling that. So everything is just profit now from this. It was a fantastic job lot. I actually bought it from um, a charity that I complained about before and they really <laughs> the second job lot that I bought from them was fantastic so I've actually saved them as a favourite to like follow because it's great so these are the screenshots um, the eBay listings for these three things which I've got here so that's 100 he paid 20 for that and then 30 for that so that's £150 worth of Lego I do offer free postage so we're going to have to take at least £10 off that because I will send it special delivery. Uh, I might have to go to bloody UPS. <laughs> yeah, it feels heavy. I think this is going to be a UPS job. I forget how heavy the castle is. Right, let's just uh, let's weigh this one out. Mind you, I've got it on the carpet now. Yeah, I'm thinking it, it says um, 1,800 grams. So once I've packaged it properly, because I put all the base plates in card, it's possibly going to go over that. So it may well go UPS. We will see. We will see. Um, right, yeah. So these are the screenshots for those items. So my plans for the rest of the day are to carry on listing and I'm probably going to stock take because I just feel a bit, ugh, I feel a bit garbagey. So I think stock taking is probably the best thing because it's, you know, stock taking is a bit mindless anyway. All I've got to do is end the items, check that everything's in the box, fold everything up nice and tidy, um, possibly amalgamate some boxes into one um, and that's it. So that's my plans for the rest of the day, more or less. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I can't see me doing much more. Um, you know, I know it's not like a, a terrible cold, but it's just like, ugh. <clears throat> Sometimes doing something is better than doing nothing. But I know that a lot of people just do resting when they've got a cold, but that's not me today. So let's see where I get to. Right, this whole process of packing this up, I've made a right mass in here. Um, so what I usually do with my Lego sets is I put my base plates in something like that, which, you know, is necessary <laughs> because they do get bent. There's one of these that is fractured anyway, but I've, so I've put them all in there. So I've now got cardboard bits all over the place because I used... The thing that the oven came in <laughs> apparently it was a really crappy card so just as well that i'm not taking photos of clothes today 
I have a box which is ideal shape but it's heavy because it's taken over two kilograms and I just thought oh well I'll send it UPS I'll give me a chance to go over there and of course it's a BT postcode um what is it Antrim Belfast so although it's regarded as the UK UPS don't cover it the only other people are Yodel and Hermes. I mean, they can't deliver in this country. I am not. You know, there is no way that I am getting them involved in crossing the sea, even though it's just a small sea. <laughs> Once there's like aeroplanes or boats involved, which you now it's be an aeroplane because it's, yeah. Just <laughs> God, can you imagine? They don't even know what a doorbell is. Oh, geez. So. Um, I've had to pay. I've I've gone with special delivery in the end. I do print mine off onto piece sheets of paper. Um, yeah, I know I could get a thermal printer, but I haven't. So, um, yeah, I've spent fifteen pounds on that because I did it special delivery because it's one hundred and fifty pounds worth of Lego. So. And I've also run out of bubble wrap because I know that I went to buy some bubble wrap but because it's the, it's the season of the student. I think that's why I've got a cold because it's always this time of year, isn't it? Um, there's students travelling all over and they, they're causing bother. So I, I'd actually saved this. Uh, you won't believe what I'd actually saved this for because these they, they strip down. And I'd saved it to put on our windows because we've got terribly fitted windows. And I was thinking that they would be really good because they've got like a perforation in them. So it's got a little perforation down the edge. And I was going to put them on our windows to try and keep some of the bleeding in. But that's not happening. And the thing is, is I want to cap this properly because there is a C involved. And you can't trust anybody. And if you're going to involve, you know, these delivery companies are bad enough without the sea. So we're going to have to get another one to go on the top of that, which is a shame. Uh, and then I've got another one, which is one of these annoying ones where it like suddenly prints out onto two sheets. Um, so this one, the shirt was going to the Channel Islands. So you have to do a customs declaration for that. And when it printed it off, I was like, why have I got to do a customs declaration for fucking Belfast? And then I was like, oh, it's Channel Islands. So while I've been faffing around, so the shirt will go in plain packaging so it doesn't say anything about eBay on it. Oh, but it does say eBay, doesn't it? Because it says e printed from eBay on the bottom of there. But I've just put gift. I haven't put sales goods. Even though it says eBay, maybe I should click it. I, I don't know. <coughs> so I have had another thing paid for, which was from yesterday. So this mint velvet, which I shouldn't have just unfolded it because there's bits of cardboard, like ugh, cruddy bits of cardboard everywhere. And mint velvet, this has gone on auction for hardly anything. Um, yeah, so it's got a nice asymmetrical zip, it's got stud detail, it's got no money in it, and now it's got bits of cardboard debris on it. Yes! Oh, jeez. I'm not cut out for this. You know, if there's, any, if there's anything that's like told me that maybe I shouldn't be selling clothes, it's the shit prices that I'm getting, and the fact that I've had a fine for going to that car park so I know that I've got to fight it I know that I need to fight it really you know because I've got proof of where I am but I may well not have the Sainsbury's receipt which is the last bit which would tip me over so I won't have the Sainsbury's receipt which is annoying but I suppose I've got my um bank account oh it's so annoying though you want stuff with timestamps anyway I need to do a shout out because somebody has commented on my Vlogtober one called Fletch. Um, <laughs> he, he they pointed out that I was at six 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 um, subscribers, 
um, I'm back at I, I, at the point when I looked at it. I had six six eight six 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 nine, but I'm back down to six 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 because people don't like me. <laughs> I'm really salty for people. So yes, um, a shout out to Fletch and a shout out to Sue who does reselling. Hopefully, slightly better than I do. <laughs> but hello and thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. And uh, yeah, maybe I maybe I'm destined to stay at six 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 and be the beast. But yes, thank you for watching. And um, <laughs> it's it's nice to have conversations with people. I've watched a, I watched a really cool video this morning, which um, well I've only I'm only halfway through it, where somebody has printed off all the comments that they get on their YouTube on their YouTube thing because you get notified even if it's like from a video that's ages ago. Uh, somebody said I was tedious and boring actually but this person she's like commenting on it she, she does ASMR I don't really like ASMR or at least I thought I didn't until I discovered this lady she's called Southern Sounds um I'm getting that wrong aren't I let me see if I can find her uh, Southern ASMR Sounds so she is so funny um she's just she's just got a real sense of humor so even if you don't like asmr stuff go and watch her video of her commenting it's not asmr this this commenting video but she's you know <laughs> to anybody who does youtube she should, it's uh it's really great but you see i don't know why people like that who get all these comments why they don't do what i do because you can either remove comments completely or you can you can have a setting where if anybody puts anything inflammatory on there it automatically gets removed by the algorithm which is what i do so i never get to read any of them only if like i get, I get to read some of them when i forget to put it on but yeah the worst i've had is i've been called boring and tedious but yeah which is it's factual really i am boring and tedious really okay right i really need to get this post on it's now like two o'clock i am on a major go slow my husband has insisted that he's going to sleep and when he comes in because he's got this cold and he needs to chase it off because he's suffering at work so he when he comes in he always does this and he's like oh, we've had a late night binge watching something and then he'll like go oh no okay so i've got to beat him into submission to going to sleep <laughs> Yeah, anyway, right, let's go to the post office so that I can come back, get the rest of my listing done and actually start a stock take properly, get that room sorted. It is very rainy in Manchester. I bailed out and I took the car to the post office. I've got to get some of these picked because the rain makes them expand and obviously they've been hanging around too long. So we'll be having lots of tomatoes. Actually, I don't know if there's any of these still, because they're still flowering, these strawberries. Don't know. Right, let's strip the plant and get soaking wet. I can't be feeling that bad with this cold because I've just had a mad session of <laughs> moving stuff around in here. Not that it looks any better. <laughs> I thought that if I moved the boxes there, it might look better. But there's still loads here. Um, so I'm stock taking. So I've got two boxes out at the moment, which I'm stock taking. And I'm, the aim is to stock take all of this. Because I've been having a look, and there's stuff in that one in the corner there, which has been on since December, which is ludicrous. So oh, it's not too dark in here even though there's no light on so the intention is i think i can put all these collared shirts and the t-shirts into one box although that might be a bit optimistic but that's what i'm going to try and do anyway <laughs> so yeah that's what i'm going to try okay so i i've still got five lego sets left to do but I've been stock taking the shirts. So those are all the shirts, they're all on. I was gonna do some auctions, but I realized I've actually still got quite a lot of live auctions and I just end up using up all my allowance. So I think I can get the rest of the t-shirts 
in this other side. <laughs> I'm fairly confident I can. Um, but this evening, because now I'm going to go and cook the tea. And if I don't shut this video up, my husband will start shouting in a minute saying, are you talking to me? Because you can hear him coughing. Yes, so thank you for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon with more Vlogtober. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.